Hi, this is Gali Gofab. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today, I'm going to be talking about whether microwave ovens are dangerous or not. Now, though microwaves have existed since the end of the Second World War, people are still debating whether or not they are dangerous. According to U.S. government estimates, about 90% of all households in the United States have at least one microwave at home. But what about their safety? Well, let's look at the real effects of microwave ovens and answer the question of whether or not microwaves are dangerous for our use and for our food or not. Well, what does the science say about microwave ovens? Well, we know that microwave ovens are extremely powerful machines. They can emit about 2,000 watts of electricity instantly and heat food to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit very, very quickly. This is only possible because of the high frequency radio waves they use, the so-called microwaves, from which the machines get their name. Now these waves operate in the microwave region, which is between 300 megahertz and 300 gigahertz. The question of whether or not these waves are dangerous stems from the fact that microwaves are a form of non-ionizing electromagnetic radiation. Now this type of radiation is effective as it's able to pass through paper, plastic and glass and the food then absorbs it which is how microwave ovens actually heat our food. So what is actually microwave radiation? Well there are two kinds of radiation. There is ionizing radiation which we have in x-ray machines and nuclear power plants and we have non-ionizing radiation found in microwaves and in smartphones and the like. Now ionizing radiation is hazardous when you receive large doses of it. This type of radiation can alter human DNA and lead to many forms of cancer if the radiation is severe enough or if it affects the body long enough. Now non-ionizing radiation emitted from microwaves does not deeply penetrate the tissues so it does not have the power to alter DNA and thus it is not as harmful as ionizing radiation. But some studies have found that this type of radiation may uh, have some adverse effects on human health, such as deficits in learning ability and memory functions observed over after exposure to microwave radiation. Now this might be due to abnormalities induced in the hippocampus following microwave radiation. However, this is dependent on the energy and exposure time. Now, excessive exposure will cause local heating of the tissues and may even lead to permanent uh, harm. However, we know that microwave ovens concentrate the radiation inside them. They don't emit it to the outside. Now, companies that produce microwave ovens have to create proper barriers that prevent this radiation from leaking outside. And although some studies in the, from the past uh, few years did find that uh, uh, highest radiation leakage was from the front of the uh, microwave ovens, especially around the door. This uh, uh, generally really decreases uh, with the increasing distance from the microwave oven itself. But n often the most uh, modern microwave ovens will not leak or very, very have very, very little leakage. But now let's examine whether microwave radiation is dangerous to our food or not. Well, besides the radiation itself and its effects on the human body, we need to discuss the effects that microwave ovens have on our food. Since vitamins are sensitive to water, light, oxygen, and temperature, some vitamin content is definitely lost during all heating methods, but even more so with microwave heating methods. Especially vitamins A, C, and E with the highest rate of loss with vitamin E in all its forms. Now, other studies also showed that vitamin B12 content in foods also suffered considerable loss, ranging between 30 and 40 percent loss. Also, other antioxidants were also found to be degraded following uh, microwave uh, heating much more than conventional cooking methods. Also, lipids and lipid-containing foods are very sensitive to microwave heating. Uh, these lipids oxidize and degrades, degrade much more readily than in conventional heating methods over a fire. However, this depends both on the heating time and the surrounding medium of the food inside the microwave oven. But the fat content was not found to be effective, affected at all during the thawing process in the microwave oven. Now, carbohydrates and protein content of foods are also very sensitive to microwave heating.
But on the other hand, concerning the flavor and the color of the food when compared to other heating met methods, including a covered pot, pressure cooking, a microwave heating was found to be very straightforward way to raise chlorophyll retention after heating, thereby sparing the food's natural color and flavor. So what are the key takeaways from all of this? Well, microwave ovens generally do decrease the number of uh, positive compounds in our foods, but the radiation they use is not dangerous as it doesn't emit outside the oven, in, especially in modern microwave ovens. Now the choice is of course yours, whether to use a microwave oven or not. However, cooking food on a regular fire does keep the nutritional content more readily available for our bodies to use rather than microwave cooking. And regular heating over a fire is also generally better as it, it less alters the food components. Uh, much less than use with microwaves. So that's it for today. I hope you liked the content. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I upload a new video about once a week. And please feel free to comment below and let me know what you liked best about this video or what you didn't like, <laughs> if there is such a thing. And thank you very much. Also, please visit my uh, website at www.thegorilladiet.com for lots of health information and anything to help you lose weight and achieve the health that you wish. Thank you.